It is safe to say that Scarborough has been President Biden's number one defender on TV. And Morning Joe is a show we know Joe Biden himself watches religiously. Joe Scarborough constantly bashes anyone who dares to criticize the president's mental fitness, once going so far as to tell the president's critics less than three months ago to, quote, F off if they didn't see and agree with the president's brilliance. He, he might misplace a word here and there, but you talk to him for hours at a time. Is he slower? Does he move slower? Yeah, he's moved slower. Uh, is he stiffer? Yeah, he moves stiffer. Does he have trouble walking sometimes? Yeah, so did FDR. I've said it for years now. He's cogent. Mm -hmm. But I undersold him when I said he was cogent. He's far beyond cogent. In fact, I think he's better than he's ever been. Start your tape right now, because I'm about to tell you the truth. And F you if you can't handle the truth. This version of Biden, intellectually, analytically, is the best Biden ever. Not a close second. And I've known him for years. The Brzezinski's have known him for 50 years. If it weren't the truth, I wouldn't say it. We started our tape and you're a liar and you owe the country answers for those lies you told to cover up the fact that our sitting president is non compass mentis. Scarborough this morning is now in a panic. He was snippy and nasty to his co-host and wife on that show because obviously he is, I assume, worried about his reputation which he has repeatedly undermined being wrong on the facts. And he is even more worried that former President Donald Trump is going to win this race, in Scarborough's view, unless the Democrats now replace Joe Biden on the ticket. He's seen the light, miraculously. Here's Scarborough this morning. Well, um, I think I should start by saying uh, without any apologies, uh, that I love Joe Biden and uh, Jill. If, however, you believe, as do I, and as do so many people who watch this program and who um, fear uh, just how dark of a place a second Donald Trump term will take America, then I think it's critical that we ask the same questions about this man I love. I spent three hours with this man, maybe back in March, three hours, cogent, on top of the issues, on top of every issue around the world. Uh, and last night, he simply was not on the biggest debate stage ever. And I'll even use the word tragically. He tragically did not rise to the occasion last night. And he went on to admit it is time to reassess whether President Biden is the man for this job. Do you ever think, how can I work this hard and still be in debt? Been there. The piles of overdue bills. The threatening phone calls, the sick feeling in your stomach, never having money to do anything, much less solve your debt problem, it just won't stop. If you are trapped in debt, done with debt can be a way out. Now, these guys have developed aggressive new strategies to end your debt permanently. Done with debt stands between you and your harassing bill collectors. Wouldn't that be nice? They tirelessly negotiate with your creditors to lower or even forgive what you owe. And they do it all without bankruptcy or new loans. One client said, one phone call saved us a fortune. I wish we did this long ago. Done With Debt has unique strategies to get you out of debt faster and put more money in your pocket every month. But you need to hurry because some debt solutions are time sensitive and you don't want to miss out. Visit donewithdebt.com. Talk with one of their debt relief strategists for free. You have nothing to lose except your debt. Go to donewithdebt.com. That's donewithdebt. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.
Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.